fuego, bitches. Hey everybody, Sojin here. We're back again with our Dan's Play series. I have Dan here and Cammy. Hey. Say <laughs> Emma! <laughs> so Cammy says she grew up with this game. No, I didn't. Or didn't you say you wanted, you heard about this game, you wanted to play it? I've always wanted to play this from the moment I learned of its existence, thanks to the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so say Emma! Dan is gonna play with Cammy for now, and then we'll just take turns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Alright, so, um, Dan is going with Jupiter because his favorite color is, gr <laughs> is green. He actually really doesn't know- No, what the heck? I didn't pick her! Well, once you die, you can switch characters. Oh, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Mercury. Mercury's, you know, still really cute and funny and- Well, not funny, but, you know, like, still really cute. Uh, ow. <laughs> so where did you hear about this game? Um, uh, online, like, I saw people playing it and, uh, what- Why do I keep getting knocked over? You gotta watch out for the enemies. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a visor. I also thought you preferred uh, the other one, Sailor Mars, I think it was. That's what I said. It was a mistake that the, the game automatically selected her for me. Uh, oh, well. Mercury is actually... Sorry! Sorry! I'm sorry, Dad! <laughs> no, there's no friendly fire. Oh, okay. I think I got hit by someone else. Oh, alright. Alright. Uh, Mercury is actually Sojin's favorite uh, Sailor Scout because his favorite color is blue. Yeah. And uh, Dan's favorite color is green, <laughs> which is perfect because, you know, that's why Jupiter's his waifu. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because Dan actually doesn't know enough about the series to realize that Jupiter is the perfect waifu. <laughs> like, I have to, like, listen, I have to say, Mars always be my favorite, but when it comes to, like, you know, definite waifu material, it's Jupiter. <laughs> Out of all of the, you know, sailor soldiers, it's Jupiter. Yeah. She know how to cook you a good meal. <laughs> and then whoop your ass later. <laughs> I'm wondering if this has pre-rendered, like, bad dubbing from the anime. No, it's all in Japanese. <laughs> in Japanese? Okay. Yeah. The text and stuff is in English, but the actual voicing is it's Japanese. Okay. It would, right. it would be pretty hard. Okay. Start. All right. And then you can select from there. Mars, bitch! Oh, you can, you can change characters while you're playing. Well, yeah. when, when you die, yeah. Okay. That's good, at least. One of my favorite uh, skits from Dave Chappelle is uh, Black Bush, because of, just because of him in the press conference saying, "Write this down: M A R S Mars, bitches. We're going to Mars. Red rocks. Yay, yay!" Also, her hair is purple. Yeah, it's got like a purple highlight. It's naturally black because she's supposed to be the more the most Japanese out of all of them. Yeah. Like you know, sorry, sorry. Oh. See, I, there is a friendly there is, fire. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I bitch slapped you, and you bitch slapped me a couple of times. I'm just testing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just testing me, huh? Fire! That's like a look at me <laughs> type of <laughs> move. Hey, hey, she red hot. <laughs> So oh, you, you I, guys... I can't wait for, for us to continue watching Through the Moon so you can see that monster that I just beat up. Like, she's from the cruise ship episode, and this one was from the tennis episode. There is a monster of the day in every single um, episode. Oh, yeah. Like, a minor monster that they have to fight and get rid of. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you're just fighting a bunch of different female monsters. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are female. No! I must not die! I'm if not done can, setting the world on fire. If you tap both the attack button and the jump at the same time, you do like a special move. Oh, I do? I do like a break dancing thing. <laughs> oh, sweet! I like that! <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you both are almost I dead. I am dying. I am the die. Oh! Die kick! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> How did dive kicking hurt me? Dive kick! And she wearing them high heels. You know them bitches hurt. No! And I'm dead again. Oh, wait, about, I'm back. Are you talking about the ninja girl? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Oh, no, you're talking about... Oh, 
Mars. Yeah, Mars always has their, the high heels. She's the only one with high heels. Actually, no, wait, that's a lie. Venus has like high heel slash Mary Janes because she has like a strap on them. Uh, and then there's uh, <laughs> Neptune. I'm sorry, I love Holy. Sailor Moon. No, we're just beating the shit out of each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was waiting Let for- Let me tell you about the shoes. I was waiting, I I was waiting for you to notice, Cammy, because you just kept going on without noticing. I'm <laughs> not very aware of certain things. Also, you gotta keep it down, neighbors. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. The walls here, oh my God, the yeah, walls here are like paper thin. <laughs> yeah, same thing with our apartment. When will we, you know, cover health? There's little stuff here and there that, Ow! that drops. <laughs> you tossed that bitch over to me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's an arcade game, so of course they're going to limit you to, like, bringing your health back up because they'd rather you throw in quarters. There's some stuff here. You can oh, how do I pick them up? I think with, yeah. oh, oh, there you go. There we go. Pick up that one. Can you pick up that gem? No, because we, we just beat that level. Yeah. yeah. Just... And Dan's dying. It, one more hit and he's dead. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. That's uh, episode one uh, monster. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> it's literally the most, really, <laughs> the most horrifying game. I, it's, sorry, the most horrifying monster. And it was literally in the pilot episode. Like, how messed up is that? Yeah. Oh, whoops. And then, and then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Sailor Moon. I'm gonna see what she do. Ow! <laughs> Jupiter, help me! <laughs> Sailor Moon is, believe it or not, is one of the weakest melee fighters out of the whole team. Like, her and Mercury suck balls when it comes she's, to melee fighting. She's weak sauce. Yeah. Do her uh, special here. Oh, never mind. No, it's Tuxedo Mask can just cover the slack for me. Oh my god, he is Tuxedo Man. <laughs> I can't believe it. But yeah, the freaking original dub had the worst read of that line ever. <laughs> It's literally like a robot. She's like, he is texting a mask. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, when you played it for me, I, I I couldn't believe that that was the original dub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! I used At the least, paper. yeah, the English dub. Mm -hmm. That was the original English dub that I brought up was brought up with. You don't it's really. <laughs> you don't realize how spoiled you are getting the newer dub. So chin. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> I tried the kicker and I failed. I did the dive kick. Okay, she's beat. <laughs> For but dark. anyway, let me uh, talk a little bit about the scouts. So Sailor Moon's the the leader, quotation marks. But uh, in the in the original manga, it's actually Sailor Venus that's the leader. Sailor, yeah, really? of the whole team. Oh, but okay. the thing is, Sailor Moon is the princess. So okay. she she is the person that they're always trying to protect because gotcha. she has a magical jewel called the silver crystal that is very powerful. And the bad guys are always trying to get it. And so Does she wear the jewel? Yeah. You you'll learn more about it. I mean, you know, that's if you were to watch Sailor Moon or read about it. You you'd learn more about it um, going into the series how it's more of a part of her. It was something uh, and it's, uh, and yes, <laughs> I have to pick up that help. It, 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 it's a extension of her very like being because it just the, the lore goes deeper and deeper into uh, each sailor soldier being born with a crystal and that's mm -hmm. like their life source. <laughs> Every time I get up, I get bitch slapped. Help me, <laughs> Dan, help me, help a princess out, will you? Get this, get this, get this princess Rudo wannabe out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just dive kicked or something. Yeah, there we go. Got her. Okay. Dive oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, I need her in the balls. If she had any. <laughs> it's just a close up of her crotch. That's yeah. it. <laughs> No! I got swatted! Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm really bad at this game because I haven't really played it. Dan's played it more than I have. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm picking Venus here. So yeah, Venus is the team leader according to the manga. And and uh, Sailor Moon Crystal, which is the newest anime uh, adaptation of the manga, because the original anime uh, that aired in the U.S. in the 90s, like that was, it was during the time when the manga was still being like published and everything like that. So a lot of the story has elements of the original manga, but there's a lot of divergence mm -hmm. and filler. Yeah, Venus is like the sporty one. She plays like volleyball and stuff like that. And she's very athletic and acrobatic. She's She was really like, I used to look up to her a lot because I used to, my sister used to play volleyball and I used to play volleyball. So it was just one of those things. Like, cause nowadays you have that anime Haikyuu where like all the teenage boys are now watching and like they're getting into volleyball because of that anime. Like back in the day, Sailor Venus was that thing for me. <laughs> Um, anyway, so Sailor Jupiter, uh, she does like, you know, karate and she cooks and she, you know, cleans like she's, a, again, waifu material. She will kick the shit out of your enemies and then bake you a cake. Nice. <laughs> or that, bake her enemies a cake. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a cake of her fist. <laughs> anyway, a knuckle sandwich. Uh, so Mercury, which is the one that Sojin likes, uh, she's the nerdier one out of all of them. She has like an IQ of 300. In fact, it's funny because uh, Naoko Takeuchi, the creator of Sailor Moon, when she was thinking up ideas for Sailor Mercury, she originally wanted her to be a cyborg because of her wicked intelligence. That would you know. Be yeah, because you know she was she was incredibly smart and everything like that, and you know approached a lot of things uh, mathematically and, and stuff like that. Well, I wouldn't say mathematically, but she was always kind of like the voice of reason sometimes. Is she the one that puts on the visor? Yeah. Okay. That's that's another like thing that I feel like might have bled into uh, the final design and everything for her because uh, again originally she was supposed to be a cyborg, but then they scrapped that idea. And in the manga, Sailor Saturn was the one that was a cyborg afterwards. Okay. <laughs> and it was, it's honestly really cool because Saturn uh, became a cyborg because when she was a child, she was in an explosion in a scientific lab. And, you know, her being a cyborg... <clears throat> let me finish! <laughs> her being a cyborg was, uh, you know, like, being rebuilt so she could survive, you know? Mm -hmm. Who else am I? Oh yeah, Mars. Mars is my favorite because in the original manga, she... Not the original manga, um... In the original anime that aired, I actually kind of liked her because she was... She had that weird, um... Relationship with Sailor Moon where they had kind of a love-hate sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Where they like constantly get in, get in each other's faces and they fight and then... But then at the same time, there was like a really deep, intense sibling-like love between them. Mm -hmm. And that was like the thing I kind of really liked most about her. Because when I was a kid, I used to, whenever I would express any sort of affection, it would be really harsh. <laughs> like I would be busting people's balls all the time. And people would be like, why are you so mean all the time? It's just like, because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hit Dan in the face right there, because I love him. <laughs> Feel my love for the bitch slap. I can't imagine what it'd be like if you hated him. <laughs> <laughs> you just oh, he'd make him a cake. He, he, he'd know I hate him. <laughs> Fire! Also, like, I love Mars because of her attacks are always really cool. Oh. She Yeah, that's... she has pet crows. <laughs> oh, I thought those were bats. No, they're crows. Oh, wait, yeah, those are bats. But, I thought, I thought but, it was her crows. <laughs> yeah, but it showed crows in the animation. Yeah. Yeah, she has two pet crows <clears throat> named Phobos and, and Deimos, which are the, the moons of uh, Mars. But anyway, um, Sojin's favorite Mercury, she's really famous in Japan. Like, at, under Sailor Moon, at, like the most popular always that always did good in polls would be Sailor Mercury. Mm -hmm. And it's because she is the more conventional, conventionally not attractive, but when I say attractive, I don't mean physically attractive, like I feminine. mean, yeah, the more, what do they call it, that ideal woman in, you know, Japanese culture. Does that okay. make sense? Like, yeah. they're naturally very quiet, reserved, and they're incredibly intelligent, and they're very sensitive at the same time. Like, they're very supportive. 
you know, like Mercury just has all that going on. That makes like, sense. That makes Al sense as to why she would be popular. Exactly, there. yeah. And then, you know, Sailor Moon for obvious reasons because she is the main character. Yeah. yeah. It would be funny if there was a borrow mod for this. <laughs> Where they're all jacked like yeah. JoJo characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep dying at this game. I'm really bad at it. I'm sorry. And then all the facial close-ups like this is all JoJo like. <laughs> <laughs> you see the text like the JoJo like filter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just I love Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to know about Sailor Moon? Like any particular questions? Is it still going on? Like no, the, the, ser the series itself is finished, <laughs> okay. like in the sense of like the manga's done. Alright. It's just that um, there's different iterations. Like, so we have Sailor Moon Crystal uh, that's still technically in progress because they still haven't done the Dream Arc or the Stars Arc. Like, those are the last two arcs before, you know, the whole manga series, you know, like, storyline is over. But they did have uh, early, I think it was early 2000s or 2010s, uh, there was a live action series in Japan that aired. And it was actually, it wasn't the most faithful adaptation because they steered away and did, like, their own thing. It was actually really good story-wise. Like, the way they developed the characters was new. It's not, it's never been done before with uh, other, you know, iterations of it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the manga or the animes. So it, it was a really weirdly good divergence. It was still kind of cringy though, because it's live action and it had like a Power Ranger sort of budget. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of things came out looking really cheesy and awful, like the, uh, live action fight scenes and stuff like that you know because the choreograph uh the choreography was very like ballerina kung fu <laughs> sort of you know weird mix which kind of is fitting you know kind of for yeah, it, yeah. It's, it kind of works for uh, yeah, yes thank you i had to pick up that thing anyway <laughs> uh which fits for the aesthetic of sailor moon but it for a live action series like you have to pull it off just right but they didn't have the budget obviously yeah and there was also, they actually have musicals, live action musicals. Like they, they've done tours and like multiple shows throughout, uh, you know, decades of, you know, just Sailor Moon, um, you know, musicals and stuff like that. And they had like all these different stories and villains and stuff like that that you've never seen in the anime or manga before. Like they're exclusively uh, musical um, product. I, I got swatted in the face by a... <laughs> Freaking tennis racket. <laughs> this okay. This this gonna be the end of this shit. Mm -hmm. Here you can you can have the cheesecake. Yes, <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> Let them eat cheesecake. You are very much Sailor Jupiter. You, you fed me the cheesecake. <laughs> That's how you know. Yeah, I feel personality-wise, um, Dan would. His personality would very much align with uh, Sailor Mercury because Dan is also very reserved and into computers and, you know, has a really, I wouldn't say wicked IQ, but you're a very thoughtful, intellectual kind of person. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Anyway, oh yeah, I haven't talked about Sailor Mars enough. Uh, besides the fact that, you know, she had that uh, sort of relationship with Sailor Moon in the original anime. Uh, I also just liked the fact that she was kind of like a cold person in the beginning of the manga where she she wasn't used to having friends and everything like that. So she'd be pretty, you know, reserved and guarded. Um, and it turns out it's because her dad, like her mom died when she was really young. And her dad just freaking abandoned her and left her with her grandfather in a shrine. You know, oh, so she... Sad. Yeah, so she became, a, like, I mean, she has her grandpa. Her grandpa is really sweet and takes good care of her. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, you know, she, ever since that happened, she's always been very cautious of men. And, you know, just doesn't trust people, you know, and their intentions. Right. So, like, as a, as a kid growing up, I kind of related to that a lot. And that's also the reason why, you know, her personality could come off as kind of abrasive. And Sailor Jupiter, like, I feel like between, like, out of all the Sailor Scouts, the two people I would want as friends would be Mars and Jupiter. 
because Jupiter, uh, she lost her parents when she was very young in a plane crash. And, you know, she, she's learned to be independent and takes care of herself and uh, does all the cooking and cleaning in her household. Nice. I mean, it's lonely. <laughs> she doesn't have a family, Dan. Well, it's not nice that her parents die. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, she, she's become, you know, one of those people where it's like she's very... Um, yeah, she, she's very conscientious of getting everything. She, she gets stuff done, you know? Mm -hmm. eh, okay. And the sad thing is, out of all the, the sailor soldiers, she's the tallest one, Jupiter. And that actually is, you know, kind of a source of insecurity for her because, you know, in Asian cultures, you're not supposed to be tall, especially if you're a woman. Right, they're supposed to be petite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's always oh, small, <laughs> delicate flower. And oh my god, it's Omino, no! He did. <laughs> he just did. But yeah, she, she's an independent woman who don't need no man. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing, she actually wants one. Like, she actually wants a boyfriend and she wants to get married. Like, that's her, her dream. She wants to get married and be someone's wife. And she also wants to, like, own a flower shop or a cake shop when she gets older. And just the sad thing is, you know, because, you know, in that sort of culture where they don't find being tall as attractive. Oh my god, you died. <laughs> Yeah. So what are they? What are they watching? Some sort of Rays music video on every freaking computer? <laughs> no, that was the. We have to watch the Mercury episode. We never got that far. No. Anyway, um, that's supposed to be a um, what do they call it? A brainwashing uh, signal thing from the computers. Oh, okay. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. It's just Gangnam style. <laughs> On repeat. Gangnam <laughs> style. Oh, oh, no! Ow! I got swatted again. Let's. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you back. You're gonna have her. Oh, she's dead. Thank you. Anyway. He's just laying there. But yeah. Like a little bitch. <laughs> Sorry, go He's ahead. unconscious. Give him a break. He's they not just a sailor leave him. soldier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually what they do in the show. When a freaking it, it, citizen is uh, unconscious, they just leave them after the monster's uh, after the monster uh, has been defeated. <laughs> that's funny. And they wake up like, what happened? So yeah, you know, Jupiter, like, she's in a culture where, you know, it's not cool to be tall, it's not cool to be thick, because she got some curves. When I say curves, I mean, um, the talent, you know, on the chest area. Oh, okay. Compared to all the others, she's chestier. Anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, you know, in that culture, they don't find that attractive, so it's really hard for her to actually, like, find a guy that likes her and, you know, thinks that she's pretty and stuff like that. It's, you know, always broken my heart because it's like, she is prime wifey material. What are these guys doing <laughs> sleeping on Sailor Jupiter? <laughs> They don't like bustier women. <laughs> it's it's the fact that remember, like things in Japan aren't the same That's as true. things you know in the U.S. regarding standards of beauty. In other Western countries. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, like even our own culture, like remember how in the '90s slash early 2000s we were obsessed with boobs. And then, mm -hmm. like, it was like the, you know, early 2010s where we started really loving butts. What about the 80s, though? Well, they, yeah, that's true. They had too. songs about butts back then. Well, yeah, yeah, it was true. It was kind of tongue in cheek, though. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's like people are all about it. Exactly. <laughs> they're, really, they're really serious they, about they, it. They yeah. are embracing the thickness. They have workouts mm -hmm. for. Yep. But yep. <laughs> there, there are too many memes about it. I mean, even a, even a guy who will remain unnamed on on a social media platform posted something, and Daniel knows about this. Where he just basically announced saying, "Yeah, it, it's better to have no boobs and all ass instead of no ass and and boobs." Am I right, guys? And I'm like. I'm a boobs guy, but okay. <laughs> but he clearly, clearly he was trolling because yep. of the obsessiveness with ass on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he could have been serious. Oh, sorry. He could have been, yeah. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm just trying to bitch slap this guy in the left. But I feel like at that point, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I, I... 
Ow. I understand that some people can't, uh, some people probably don't have control over that um, with their bodies, but if they have a choice, you know, it's like, kind of have a little bit of both. I, I don't know, it's it's just a butt, so mm -hmm. it's like... And I mean, boobs are also pockets of fat, so yeah. it's just like, at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, you can like a thing, but it's like... Calm down. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not well, the, everything, the, the you know? Thing with, the thing with boobs is it's actually a biological thing because when guys see it, it's like, oh, um, like, oh, they'd be good mothers. Which is dumb I because know. that doesn't affect, any, you know, the I quality know. of wrestling See, at all. I, I won't lie. I will be that guy when, especially when growing up, when I was thinking about boobs, I thought of it. I, I never thought anything about, oh, hey, they'll be a good mother. I just thought of it in a pervy way. Oh, hey, jiggly boobies. Hey. Yeah. Well, you know no, what I mean? It's, it's like a subconscious. Yeah. It's such a, it's yeah. Such a, a like, monkey brain thing. Yeah. It really like is. Jiggle. It's just like, <laughs> boobies, they're jiggling. Yeah. It's just, it's like a, pr a primal, like, childish thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing go boing. <laughs> boing go boing. Kind of like that. Ow, ow. Is this an average dude wearing a mask? Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there's another one. Or maybe they're puppets, I don't know. No. I'm picking up a lot of the, like, you know, potions and shit because I'm always dying. <laughs> Dan dies, yes, but not as frequent as I do. You have to learn to like dodge and get out of the I way. can't! <laughs> I can't always dodge though. They literally punch me square in the face. <laughs> and it, ow, ow! I tried I tried to hit and it it don't work. <laughs> now I work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that that's it. Fuego, bitches. That would have been funny if you said that right when she was, like, moving her lips. <laughs> you can sync it with editing. M maybe. <laughs> Fuego, bitches. Fuego, bitches. <laughs> do it, I challenge you. Over. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. <laughs> and I died again. Wonderful. I'm actually happy that this game doesn't have Save Our Mini Moon. I'm, I'm really, like, don't get me wrong, she's not a bad character. Um... Uh, Sailor Mini Moon? Yeah, she's supposed to be Sailor Moon's future daughter. Oh. And she comes back from the future to train as a sailor soldier with the rest of the team and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I just, I didn't really care for the way she was written in the original manga and anime. Like, I mean, the manga wasn't too bad. It just, I feel like Sailor Moon Crystal actually did a much better job of, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Kicked you in the face. I feel like Sailor Moon Crystal actually did a much better job depicting Sailor Mini Moon as a character and have her not be aggravating. Fuego bitches. <laughs> Fuego bitches. Oh, it's Zoicite, that freaking transsexual. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have an insult. It's like, she is a transsexual. Well, technically, no, because in the original manga and Sailor Moon Crystal, because it's more faithful to the manga. Zoicide is a man, but the original anime that uh, aired in the 90s, they had censorship issues. So, you know, back then you couldn't really have, uh, a, I guess, a girly man character, so they dubbed it over with a woman's voice for some weird reason. Oh, that makes sense. Well, you... it's because they the, the reason why they dubbed it over with a woman's voice is because in the original anime, Zoicite was involved with another male uh, bad guy, like oh. in a romantic mm. relationship. There was a lot of gay relationships in Sailor Moon, believe it or not. It was the reason why it's so big is because you know it was really big with the LGBTQ uh, um, community. Like to this day, there are so many people like who are you know trans or um, do like you know drag queen shows and they pay homage to Sailor Moon and stuff like. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, um, Neptune and Uranus, the those sailor scouts, they're lesbians. Uh, oh. Yeah. Also, I was gonna say, like, she's probably a reverse trap. Reverse trap? No, can we not with the traps? Like, that's a really <laughs> transphobic uh, trap. It's, it's, it's the yeah, whole... Tra the traps whole... exist. <laughs> yeah. Well, I say reverse, I'd say reverse trap because there actually is a thing, like, in anime where apparently dudes, perverted dudes are into it, where it's like, oh hey, it was a dude, he was my Wait, friend this whole time, but it turns out to be a chick, awesome, boobies. Mm -hmm. it's, it was, it's just dumb. So you're, so you're calling Mulan from Disney's Mulan? No, no uh, it, yes. 
Kind of. I love how you're like, no! <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, she's a reverse trap. <laughs> Well, you got me because, back for that because, time I hit you. Because we all know that <laughs> Sorry. We all know the dude that was training them was secretly gay, and then he was disappointed when she, when it was a woman. <laughs> Everyone calls Li <laughs> Shang a bisexual icon, and I love it. I'm here for it. It kind of reminds me of... As somebody who's uh, bi myself, I'm like, yes. It kinda get, re- it, get it, it bi yeah. myself. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Futurama. Where Leela dresses up as one of the recruits. Oh yeah, as a man, and, 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 he, and that he, Brannigan was sexual, sexually awakened. Like he what? was, he was confused. <laughs> yes. And then he's like, "Oh, thank God! I thought I, w- I thought I was going crazy." Mm. <laughs> it's so funny how Zap is just Leela sexual. Like he's, he's primarily just attracted to Leela, and it's because she's the first woman he's ever had sex with. Yeah. We need to. What is this from? What show? Futurama. Futurama. Oh. Okay. It's it's still available, I think, on Netflix. Um, we definitely need to catch up. No, uh, it was on Hulu. I think. Hulu, but we definitely need to watch it together because I've seen the show all the way through twice, and I know you said you never did and you wanted to yeah, watch it. Yeah, I've never actually seen the end. I've, it's I've really been good. through a lot of seasons, but I've never actually like watched it all the way to the end because I know they've been um, they were like canceled at one point and then it came back. On a to, different channel. Yeah, to like finish the whole uh, series, and I never saw the actual end. Maybe kind of like how we're watching Bob's Burgers, we could treat Futurama like that. Yes! Okay, so um, Dan doesn't know this, but I've been watching Bob's Burgers religiously for the past couple of months. She has? Yeah. I mean, it just I started watching it because like I, I when I began season one I didn't really care for it and then I just kept going. I'm like maybe it gets better because like a lot of shows have a weak first season. Yeah. Like Parks and Rec, like I love the crap out of Parks and Rec. The first season, not its best. It's really the worst. You have to literally like grind your teeth and get through it. And then from like half of uh, the second half of season two onward, it's great. Uh, yeah, you definitely needed that. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, why are you taking the power up? And I'm like, oh, because you need it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Punch him in the face. She's beauty and she's grace. She'll punch you in the face. What um, do we do? I don't know. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I guess we, yep, guess we gotta keep going. Ow. And then, and then, and then, and then. Dive kick cooks. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you missed, but it makes it look like you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you did nothing, kind Dive of kick c- kind of like tuxedo mask. It's like yes. you, you did nothing. Exactly. <laughs> I love that meme, by the way. Because if you watch the show, you know how true that is. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's so painfully true. How did the meme go? It's like, uh... It's uh, like, my work here is done. You haven't really done anything. And then he just, like, swishes his cape and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because he always shows up and shows off, but he never does anything. Exactly. It just... I used to hate him. Like, I, I still kind of do, in the sense of, like, I find him so annoying and basic. You know, it just, like... Because that's the thing about the freaking show, is that, like... The characters, like, every time they see him, they always swoon over him. Mm. And it's just like, I don't see the appeal. He's just a loser in a tuxedo with no powers. Like, yeah. in, at least in the first anime. In the same thing with Crystal, like, they try to give him, like, powers. But it's, like, the same powers he has in the manga. Oh, okay. And his powers, like, let's just say if he were a character in, uh, and really <laughs> kicking me right in the face as I get up. Thanks. Try to kick them. But anyway, <laughs> let's see if he were like in an MMO Fuego bitches. <laughs> Are you gonna just keep doing that? <laughs> Until you get it right. <laughs> anyway, if he were in an MMO RPG sort of game, he'd be a support slash healer type of uh, character you'd be playing. So like his his um powers can be useful, it's just not uh what do they call it, offensive uh, type of power. Mm. You know, in Sailor Moon, like the women are the warriors and the men are the support. Why can't I hit you guys? They're almost dead. <laughs> I know, but like I can't land a dive kick on them. It sucks, and they're flying in the air where I can't reach them. How did that happen? <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. Did you not see that? I did. It was weird. Wow, what? <clears throat> Let me dive kick you, asshole. There. One well, last hit. <laughs> no! Come on, I wanted to land one. <laughs> 
<laughs> how much? How long have we been recording this? I have no idea. 36 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. We can stretch it for like 45 or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the fat cat. I loved this episode. It was so cute. <laughs> That that fat cat uh, had a crush on Luna, the black oh, cat. Oh yeah, I so forgot this, about that. Does this seem really true to the show? They feature a lot of the monsters and characters in the original anime. Yeah, it's good that's, that it's true to the, the source material. Yeah, that's <laughs> why that's why when I was like looking at all the different monsters we were fighting, I'm like, oh, I know that episode, and I know that episode, and I know that other episode. <laughs> Quite vicious. <laughs> You're gonna have to dub that perfectly, okay? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Not you have to, you have to add, you have to add be, the text. It's gonna not, be so funny. But not every <laughs> single time. No, no. Like, just <laughs> once. <laughs> oh, okay, because, like, doing it every time will be aggravating. Yeah. Like, just the one time is fun. We'll make it into a drinking game. Drink every time you hear Fuego bitches. No. <laughs> You'll, you'll kill our viewers. I will take no responsibility. <laughs> no one is forcing you to put down that shot. I love how you're like, oh, you guys should make it a drinking game, but I'm not responsible, even though I told you to do Again, it. Again, <laughs> I ain't holding up a freaking gun to your face being like, now drink, bitch. <laughs> somebody commenting below saying, hey, you killed my brother due to from alcohol, alcohol poisoning. poisoning. <laughs> I, need, I need money from you to pay for his funeral. Mm -hmm. Tell him he can get in line with the Nigerian prince that keeps emailing me. I swear, if anybody actually drinks himself to death from a stupid random drinking game on a growing channel like this, it's dumb. Yep. Like, that, that just sums it up right there, that you're that idiot that listens to anything on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Especially a source as unreputable as us. Dang. <laughs> oh man, my, my freaking super move wasn't charged up at all. And I'm back. I ate our return. Fuck. So how far are you in the game now? More than halfway, at least. Okay. Getting, getting pretty close. I'm wondering who the final boss is, because I, I never really... It has to be, probably... Well, it can't be Queen Barrel, because Queen Barrel's in a dress, and that's kind of hard to animate. <laughs> I don't know. You know, because, like, all the kicks and stuff like that, like, yeah. it's kind of hard to animate. Unless they have, like, their own an set of animations for her, with, like, yeah. magic attacks, then that would make sense. Yeah. Oh probably. my god, I, I wonder if, there, if the Dee Dee girls are in here. Baby girls? Yeah, they they were kind of like the final bosses before they fought Queen Barrel, which was the big bad of season one. I I feel like you guys really need to watch Sailor Moon now. <laughs> yeah. It would be funny if somebody if somebody edited like the ending of this game, at least the final boss, so that way you're forced to play through the whole game and find out it's not the original. And Sailor, oh, sorry. Sailor Moon becomes a Super Saiyan and the final <laughs> boss is like Goku or some crap. Mm-hmm. Come on. Ignite bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um But yeah, they go that's that's a joke from how Daniel actually showed me uh alternate <laughs> alternative ending for what was it? Toy Story 3. Toy Story oh yeah, 3, where, where we all die. Yeah, where, appara yeah. where apparently if you are illegally torrenting uh, movies no, and stuff, people so people are purposely uploading like <laughs> edited versions of movies and shows now. Mm -hmm. So um, apparently, yeah, somebody only edited the ending of Toy Story 3 where they just faded it to black when they're about to enter the furnace and then you just hear burning sounds and screams and that's it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Oh god. <laughs> Imagine showing yeah. that to your kid. Oh my god. That's terrible. Yep. But then again, if you're, it's like, I think either you or Dan said before, like, if you're torrenting something, you shouldn't even be showing it to your kid in the first place. Yeah, you just, like, you how, do you, know, that. how yeah. do you know that's not going to turn into porn in, like, 40 minutes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there could be a random penis, like, in five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> or, like, subliminally. Yeah. Kind of yeah. <laughs> like the, 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 the phallic shape in the Little Mermaid VHS cover. Yeah. Yeah, people people are really good at editing, and they, they can just throw in some random crap in the background. Mm -hmm. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Have you ever seen the movie Fight Club? Yeah. Uh, I, I think mean, once with like, my dad. 
That's like a religion for most white men. <laughs> it's true! Literally, I feel like they show that in every frat house. Maybe. Um, no, that just reminded me of how in that movie Tyler Durden, um, he works at a movie theater. And oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, the word like, you see the subliminal cuts of Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah, he, he splices in the, the, the penis, footage. The, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, I've seen it once with my dad. It's, yeah, and you see flickers of him throughout the whole movie. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of weird. Oh, so we're getting, we're getting pretty close if we're fighting these it's, two. It's Discount Sephiroth. I think those might be it. Yeah, this is Kunsai, and the other one is Zoi, Zoi Sai, the blonde one, Zoi Sai, Kunsai, D Dis hair. Discount Sephiroth yeah. and Discount Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and Cloud kept his ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't have their swords. And they're a lot gayer. A lot gayer. <laughs> like, seriously, these guys are hella gay in the original anime. <laughs> like, like, there was, like, so many, like, rose petal motifs whenever they were on screen. It's ridiculous. Wow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this, this game was, I mean, sorry, this, you know, that anime was very gay-friendly. <laughs> For the 90s, that is. I mean, there was also Utina, you know, like revolutionary, uh, revolutionary girl Utina. Mm. Like that, that featured a lesbian relationship. I'm not familiar with that series. It's the one with the girl with the pink hair and the sword, and uh, she has the purple uh, haired love interest with the red dress. I like barely remember that. Like you, you. If I were to show you a photo of her, you probably would have seen her in an anime store or something, because it's one of the more okay. popular animes of the nineties. Oh. Uh, like you know, because it was also a technically kind of a magical girl, but not really sort of anime. Hmm. Like instead of like you know the girl, the main character being the princess, she was more like the prince, like the knight. Oh, okay. Do you know if Sailor Moon was on Toonami? Yes! Okay. It actually was. That's was actually where I used to watch it a little mm -hmm. bit back then, and then I lost interest. <laughs> I used to watch Sailor Moon back when it was, um, I think... Was it? Yeah, it was Cartoon Network. I, it was either Cartoon Network or WB, but I, I have a feeling it was Cartoon Network back in the I, day. I think it might have been WB as well. Could have been on both. Yeah. Cause Cartoon Network did have a partnership with WB, and that's why, like, you know, it featured a lot of DC superhero shows. Yeah, like Teen Titans, mm -hmm. Justice, Teen Titans. Ju Justice League. Oh my god, don't even get me started on Justice League. I love <laughs> that show. Fuego, bitches. I feel like with whatever DC Comics, you know, as a company messes up with regarding their heroes and their stories and stuff like that, Justice League will always be that chef's kiss of beautiful perfection. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, it's amazing how you can watch it both as a child and an adult, and it's still amazing. Like, it holds up really well for people that are, you know, that grew up with it and they want to rewatch it. it. You miss a lot of how mature some of the themes actually work. That's like Batman Beyond. Exactly, yeah. That's another one uh, Sojin and I actually want to get uh, DVD wise. We always see the DVD box set, but um, we never have enough to afford it. <laughs> yeah, I've watched it on Netflix a few years ago. Yeah, and they cut it. They they got they removed it. I was so upset. Yeah. Now they probably have it on DC Universe, but I don't have money for that. Uh, we can yeah. we can eventually get the series it on DVD. Like everything's being more um, streamlined. Well, yeah, streaming services for everything, mm -hmm. so it's, yeah. it's more expensive. Exactly. Um, well, it's the new bundle, you know, back when our parents were getting, you know, TV uh, packages and cable, they get bundles. Now it's more internet friendly where you get to stream things and, you know, you get packages just like Disney Plus tried uh, promoting a bundle with Hulu, ESPN, and Disney Plus for like $14.99 or something. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, that sounds great, but I like Hulu without ads, and I hate ESPN, so how's this gonna work for me? Mm -hmm. They're just forcing you. Mm -hmm. So now I just have Hulu and Disney Plus. Yeah, I think Netflix also has Jackie Chan Adventure. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. Yes. I watched that. I love that show. And technically, we can watch all that on that specific Shh. website, but yeah. <laughs> Remember how you got on my case when I brought up quarantine? <laughs> Yeah, that one website. Yeah, see, look, it is Queen Barrel. She is the Check last one. 
Yeah, it's that one website.com. Forward, Shut up! Forward slash. I wonder, I wonder where I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> huh? I wonder where that goes. I don't yeah, know. You, you literally just named a, a, a website whether you wanted to or not. Well, I said I said forward slash. I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the lip flaps almost match perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> I'm beating up an evil queen. I'm gonna go to jail. Ugh. <laughs> 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 I might ah! see that, I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, I hit you by accident. This, oh my god! It won't stop. So yeah, there, I guess that answers your question with the animations. <laughs> yep. She's just floating. Yeah, it makes sense. Come here! Come here! <laughs> I'm just wondering how many quarters this would have spent. <laughs> oh, like easily <laughs> like over $15 maybe. At least no, mine would have been over $30. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> I died way too much. Dan would have, like, I don't know, 10 to 15. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Maybe 8 bucks. But that's being generous. <laughs> Come here! Kick your ass! <laughs> this is a ginger hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead. Ow! Oh, she dead. bitch left me to death! <laughs> This is some bullshit. Oh man, come on. Fire bitches. <laughs> I'm gonna go to jail. I'll get her. <laughs> yeah, like my attack totally missed because she wasn't there. There we go. Yeah! Oh, Yay! Okay. Hey. <laughs> Just C A and exclamation mark. Me. You have to do a name intro. Oh, you press uh, you press right. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I guess that was it. Yay! <laughs> now Kotaku Uchi. <Yeah. laughs> She's a creator. Represent. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I definitely would love to have a copy of this. I really, yeah. I wish I had an official copy of this. Sailor Moon just like is one of those franchises where they don't make enough video games for it, and they don't distribute them enough. So. Yeah. yeah. But meanwhile, Dragon Ball Z can poop out titles <laughs> like sagas and whatever, you know, that just literally crap the bed. And then yeah. they, they come out with Kakarot, you know? It's just Kakarot's a really hey, good one. Hey, yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say, Kakarot's one of the very few, like, okay. amazing DVDs. So DVD I was about to say, you better not talk crap about Kakarot. Yeah, I, I really Kakarot Fighters and <laughs> Tenkaichi 3 were, like, the best titles, in my opinion. Yeah. But that, that that's console titles, you know, not, not Game Boy related, because Legacy of Goku rocks. I like the Budokai ones, too. Budokai Tenkaichi. Well, the regular, the regular Budokai. Oh, I, I didn't original. play those enough. I only played like Tenkaichi. I've seen Budokai, but Tenkaichi was more my thing. Yeah, honestly, Tenkaichi's weird. It, it is weird. <laughs> it can be floaty, but like the thing I loved yeah. about it most, especially the third one, is it had the most characters, like the whole oh, roster. Yeah. But I, I do have to agree with Dan, though. Like we grew up with the original Budokai for PS2 and GameCube, and those are the ones <laughs> that we actually liked the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tenkaichi was just weird for us, and it's like uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but yeah. it was okay. I, rem <sighs> I remember playing that at the after school program. Oh yeah, zone. <laughs> yeah. We went we went to the after school program, and they literally put us in a room that looked like a dungeon, and it was like <laughs> there was like these wheelie like things or whatever that they put the TV on, yeah. the PS2 and everything, <laughs> and we were just sitting on like crappy ass chairs, just playing that and Tony Hawk and <laughs> ATV. <Yeah. laughs> okay, so um, now that you've, we've seen like, you know, the gameplay and everything like that, would you guys ever have interest in watching Sailor Moon? Maybe like... A season just to see what it's like. <laughs> well, here's the thing: the actual original anime is what this game is based off of. So, like, that's the one that where I kept saying, like, "Oh, this character's from this episode, and this monster's from this episode." How many it's, episodes? It's over. Like, it's about two hundred episodes. I'm not watching. Damn. But I, but I was about to say there's Sailor Moon Crystal, which is based more on the manga, so you get to see the original story more as mm -hmm. of what the creator wanted to get mm -hmm. out there. Because mm -hmm. in the original anime. There was just a lot of changes in filler that mm. wasn't, you know, kosher to the creator's original story. Right. So, you know, it's just... 
it, it, I feel like that's a better way to digest the series. There's still a couple of changes, like, of character. Mm -hmm. Sailor Mars isn't as, um, she, she isn't as abrasive in Sailor Moon Crystal as she is in the original anime. Like, in, mm -hmm. the other Sailor Soldiers kind of come off as bland, to be honest, mm -hmm. in Sailor Moon Crystal. I feel like they got watered down because they had to make time. Mm -hmm. And they made Sailor Moon more of a focal point, like herself. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love Sailor Moon, but just all the other characters have good, you know, personality and everything like that. Mm -hmm. They just needed their time to shine. So there's just subtle differences. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I think... I, I'd give the show a chance at least, but I wouldn't binge it, that's for sure. Yeah, I feel like with Sojin, he needs to, he needs to wean it very carefully to, like, limit it to, like, two episodes, maybe. Yeah. Alright, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up the video if you like it. And if you don't like it, you can thumbs it down. But tell us down below why. Don't be Tim and just downvote it and be an <laughs> asshole. And not tell us why you don't like it. <laughs> but anyway, subscribe to see more videos. Hit the bell icon. Check out my channel. Uh, yeah, check out Cammy's <laughs> channel. Uh, Cam yes. Cammy Blaze. Uh, we do streams on there. And Daniel's channel too. He does music. Follow us on Twitter, social underscore Nettles, and at Cammy Blaze. Patreon information is down below if you want to become. A patron will give you a shout out at the end of every video. So thanks again for watching guys. Have an awesome one. Bye bye. Bye. See ya.